Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Okay, so yeah, it was only a little cut seeing that. But this is essentially what we're always going to be returning to. Uh, every Bridges facility has one of these. So it's basically a place where you can save, you can just regenerate whatever you've got. So you, you'll get the idea of it. So this is just more of a goofy thing to look at. For instance, we've got the BTs that we've just seen. I really don't get how they always form, but I like it as a cool little detail, a flashback to what you've just been through. Uh, we got the Bridges Energy Drink, which uh, used to be Monster. So if you've got the uh, original version of the game, you'll get Monster. And we've got Sunglasses, which uh, they're default. Eh, they're okay. I'll put them on just to show them. I like how it looks as if they... Glasses? What are glasses? Um, now, one thing that you would benefit from doing in the long run... Uh, you can't really do it now because BB is not here, but one thing you'll benefit from doing in the long run, whenever you come to a private room, use the sink. Simple reason being, if you use the sink, you are able to gain affinity with BB. So just something to consider because the more affinity you have with BB, the easier it is to... It gives you extra perks with, or, or BB gives you extra perks with BTs and other enemies. So it's worth just trying to keep him happy. All right, so I've been told we've got to take a shower and there's nothing else I can do, sadly, so here we go. And yes, we are going to see a lot of uh, Norman Reedus's bod. <laughs> Although I've got to admit, there are some funny moments with all this. Yeah, he's a bit battered up here. There are some pretty gnarly cutscenes as well. <laughs> Sam, can you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Is it anything private anymore? Oh, uh, no. Except for taking a shower and going to the toilet, that is. <laughs> Would you like that? <laughs> I take it you were getting yourself cleaned up. Good. Uh, come to the president's office as soon as you're done. She's waiting for you. Hi. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. 
Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Homily. My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam, you're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious, then, about reconnecting everyone and everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll reestablish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. And went west. in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw them coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenaut City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Taken? I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere. Plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. 
by men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together, to form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up chiral network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a qubit. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! Hold on! Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. Sam. Listen. You are Sam Strand. No, not, not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. bond still holds.
You're free. But we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Okay. <clears throat> Sam, this is Die Hardman. You were out like a log. You must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. Okay, so I don't want to go into too much detail in regards to those cutscenes. Um, what I will add, we're going to learn more about beaches as we go through this. Now, if I just go on this terminal, I don't know if we're going to get a little beep, beep, beep. There we go. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. Okay, so essentially, even though we haven't got it right now, we will be gaining interviews and other such information. That will expand our knowledge of the world. And the downside of it is it is just basically reading text on the screen. But I am going to try and at least make it a bit interesting while I do it. But hopefully it will just add to the lore, add to what everyone knows. All right. So let's just uh, get Sam ready for a trip out. So... I'm going to do this without cutting just this once, just to sort of show the routine I will probably be doing each time I go into the private room. Sam, Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of Dunes and Repatriates. The shower in your room was designed with chiral decontamination in mind. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelian contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. I should add that these showers have another function, the collection of blood, hair, fluids, and other natural waste products. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health, and I freely admit a chance to study the unique properties of your physiology, you being a repatriate and all. So essentially, whenever we have a shower, they steal our fluids. It, it sounds creepy, but it actually does have a benefit down the road. Similarly, our cufflink, that steals blood. Um, I think it does actually say on the left hand of the screen, first time, uh, a blood bag is waiting for you. Blood bags are important because it's a way of recovering health. We've also got a chance to take a number one and a number two, and we're going to do that now. So we'll just do a number one first. Essentially, we're giving Sam a chance to relieve himself. <laughs> Not as important this time, I'll admit. It will become a bit more important, maybe. Depends on what your view is. 
again, you, I don't want to spoil things as far as what we're going to unlock. But there is a point when you may want to do this. If anything, just to relieve Sam. <laughs> and I love stuff like that. I love little meta jokes. <laughs> I'm easily pleased with stuff like that. Alright, so we've done all that. And we're now going to chug some energy drinks. Now, I'm off time to go and get a drink myself for the same purpose, because I'm just running a bit flat. But uh, yeah, when you come into the private room, best thing you can do is drink three of these. It recovers your stamina and it also increases it a little bit. Pardon me. So yeah, um, I wouldn't advise drinking an energy drink like Sam is right now. But yeah, um, it just basically refuels you. So... Just this once and playing everything out fully, but as you can see down the bottom right, there's a skip button. I'm going to use that after this uh, this visit to the private room. Essentially, it's something that does get repetitive. The only reason I'm showing it in full is animations. You might want to just see what Sam does. I believe he does something different on the third one, but I might be misremembering. Yeah, let's just drink one more. Maybe it's the fourth one. I don't want to drink a fourth because I don't need it, but uh, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, we're all stammered stammer up. <laughs> I'll make my own words up as we go along here. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we can check on BB-8. Uh, well, BB-8, I've got Star Wars in here. BB-28 here. So what we're going to just do before that is we're going to try and make him happy. So we're going to use the sink. Very simple how we do this. Very, very simple. So we've got the right thumbstick, we perform an action. So I'm going to push up on the thumbstick. And then at the right moment, we're going to press this, uh, press square. Eh, not the best photo. But we get 35 likes from BB. He's happy with us for doing that. <laughs> All right, again, we're going to go for up and left. And hopefully we do it when he does. Like that. <laughs> We've got 40 likes for that. And we'll do one more. I don't want to spam these during a video, but uh, let's go left. <laughs> eh, not bad. 45 likes. <laughs> uh, it's just something that BB finds uh, fun. So you want to improve your... Um, Increase your bond with him. Oh, oh with BB. I keep saying him. It's uh, bad, bad that. All right. So we don't really get to look at these often. So I am going to actually look at this. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. Sound, it sounds weird that, but, but yeah, essentially uh, Sam's blood is unique, so it can be a very useful weapon. <laughs> uh, so we've got three different types. Orange is corpse disposal. Black, I believe is security. And red is medical. We don't really interact with these, I'll be honest. I think Sam changes them on his own. But, uh, yeah. Pretty interesting if you want to know about it. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just the best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Okay. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Yeah, like I say, it doesn't really matter too much, but uh, it's info in case you want it. And we can change the colour scheme of the glasses that we've got on the table, but we haven't really got an option for that, so we're going to leave them for now. 
Okay, so that is pretty much everything in the private room. So we're going to get ready for the delivery. And the only thing we can... Well, for the record, there is that examining figures, but that isn't really worth much right now. So we are going to just leave the private room. Or oh, try to. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? Chalk full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm.
Okay, that, that's pretty much the end of the cutscene. <laughs> Pretty much everything we just saw there, that will get condensed now. It's like, you'll just go straight from, go to the door of the private room and just go straight on the lift. So, uh, that first time they just like to show you what happens. Okay, so this is pretty much the game in full now. I'd say we're really at the beginning of it properly now. <laughs> this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the cube in. So Die Hardman pretty much explained it there, but I will try and clarify. Essentially, We've got to go from Capital Not City here to the way station west of Capital Not City. And the idea is we've got the way station here and we're going to have other little places to go along the way, all the way to the east, sorry, the west of this eastern section of the map. Uh, the whole idea being we're just going to keep connecting the little knots they're called. So Capital Not City, way station west, they're both like, like, like I said, it's like connecting a, a knot in a rope. So uh, we've just got to join them all up together. So uh, yeah, this first one is pretty simple. It feels tricky when you're playing it, but it's pretty simple in the long run. Order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. All right, so if you don't know what you're doing, fair enough, you might want to look at this. Uh, I pretty much know what I'm going to encounter on this route. So we're going to put the actual cargo in our back. We've been given a ladder. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Okay, so the ladder is a little bit useful, like I say. Um, we'll put them both on the back, or all three on the back, four on the back. Wow. Got a few of them. Uh, we've got a climbing anchor as well. I don't personally find these that useful. They they have kind of a use, but I don't tend to go out of my way picking them up. So uh, yeah, now something you always want to do, except for certain situations, is auto arrange cargo. So we do that now. Essentially, they've put the climbing anchor on our tool rack. They've put uh, everything else on the suit, the four ladders. You don't, uh, that isn't always going to be the best order, but early on the game, it isn't bad. Uh, auto range cargo, like I say, best default option you can pick. Um, the only time I wouldn't do it is if you've got something like pizza on your back, which they tell you you need to have flat. Um, so yeah, it's, it's weird being a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. All right. Now, when he has got a lot of cargo on his back, Sam's actually quite easy to control. Um, again, there might be the odd situation when he loses his balance, but generally, he's pretty easy to control. Yeah, okay, so let's say you open your hood, uh, hold down the right uh, directional button, you've got your ladders, climbing anchor, and you can urinate. <laughs> um... You get a trophy for doing that, by the way. So it, when you're outside the city limits, it's probably worth doing it just to get a quick trophy. Um, it does have a purpose doing that. Um, the longer you do it, you have got a chance of growing crypto buyouts in the long run. You see that sign someone left over there? You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, so if you pee, you can grow crypto buyouts, which essentially means you can uh, have a way of forming a way of healing yourself up in the long run. Not bad if you play some tactically. So we can play signs as well. Signs are quite an interesting one. Uh, I'm actually going to place one here saying good work. Uh, simply because this sign in particular, BB likes. So it's an easy way of just helping other porters, other players. Um, strengthen their bond with BB. So let's put one down. Now we're also going to use the watchtower again, simply because I would like to have an idea of what's on the horizon, so let's do that. As I said before, Carol Crystals, which are these things here, um, 
Later on, we'll be able to pick them up, but now we can't. Um, yeah, we're going over there. That's what, 1,044 meters. The worst bit is going to be around this area. So, yeah, we're going to just try our best to cope with that. Now, we have got to deal with ladders. Uh, ladders are quite good as far as, as Diarbin said, getting through uh, uh, rivers. They're okay on inclines. Mm. Sam, even the best porters have been known to lose their cargo. But you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that that thing on your shoulder can help you locate your lynching. Yeah, so they pretty much said what I would have said. Uh, if you see cargo and you've not got a lot on your back, you can afford to pick it up. So, I could arguably use a ladder here, but I'm thinking I can wade through this. So yeah, we're just going to pick up this piece of cargo here. You don't need to do this. This is not even a side quest. It's just something that can improve your rating with uh, the Knot Cities and the Preppers. So, for instance, I'm picking up stuff here for Capital Not City. So, if I hold on to this and then return that, I can drop it off and I'll get extra uh, likes. The more... Essentially, you want to build up your reputation with these uh, places and you get more rewards. So, you'll, you'll see as we go along. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a ooh, ooh, ooh. Also, you can see here, here are my footprints from when I went to the incinerator. The more you go on a certain route, the more of a trail will appear. And if you've got a trail, it means it's easy to walk on. So uh, it's worth keeping that in mind. All right, I'm kind of going out of my way here. The destination isn't this way, but I'm just seeing bits of cargo and I'm thinking I might as well pick it up because why not? Again, this trip isn't the most difficult in the game. It's a nearly, well, it's pretty much the first delivery, but proper. You know, you could argue delivering the president to the incinerator is the first one. It's technically the second order. But uh, this is the first one where you're delivering cargo and you've picked it up, essentially. Okay, this here is a post box. I'm assuming we'll be told in the second way it is. Will we? Apparently not. Okay, so the idea with post boxes. Supposing you know you're going into a difficult area, which I do know, you can always deliver lost cargo. Here we go. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. So right now, I've got bits on me. Yeah, I'm just skipping that. I've got, I think all this is for capital, not city. So it's basically where we just come from. So if I thought to myself, right, I'm not going to be able to carry this all the way to the way station and back, I could leave it here. But I don't particularly want to do that. I want to actually take it with me. So we're going to take it with, but if I was inclined, I could leave it here and someone else might pick it up for me, or I could possibly come back and collect it. Also, we've got a private locker, which I could do the same thing for. Can be used to store cargo and the like. Difference between a private locker and delivering lost cargo. A private locker means only I can access it. If I deliver lost cargo, it means that other people can pick it up. So it depends what you want. Do you want to carry it over or do you want to save it for yourself? Okay. So we've got one more piece up here. I'm just going to sprint for that. There's enough post box there, like I said, but I've already gone through one. There's actually quite a few here, surprisingly. You know, there's a ladder there. I'm curious if that is a way to get over to the other side, but I don't particularly want to go that route. It's, um,. Not my favourite. It's 
still though, it might be worth it. Okay, now you know you're going to be in danger when you can see that in the sky. Um, they are... As far as I know, they are strands that connect BTs to this world. So if you see them in the sky, you know you're going to have some issues. Also, rain is a sign, timefall. Right, I don't know what Diarman said there, I'll be honest, also really listening. Um, yeah, this sign here is basically saying, why don't you put up a ladder? So, why not, let's just do it. Um, here we go, and let's put it up. Can I just lower it a little bit? There we go. I might be going the wrong way for the order, but I don't mind just showing a few of these things as far as how to actually use the uh, UI. Because that is one of the biggest hurdles I've found getting into this game. The UI is very complicated. Uh, it's not hard to overcome, but I can understand if people are like, God, there's a lot going on here. Um, so yeah, hopefully this can just help explain a few things. Now, uh, this is where I am going a difficult way. I would not advise going this route. Um, especially early on, you've got nothing really to help you climb up. Uh, you've got the ladders, which are definitely good in a pinch, but I feel like ladders, they're very specific i.e. you have to go a very specific route to use them so um yeah they're not particularly my favorite uh piece of equipment all right so there's the way station but we're leaving the car on network now if you're curious what that means it essentially means that we're not going to get um we're not going to get support from uh the knots that we're building so we can't build structures in this area right now now we currently haven't got anything that we can build structures with but later on leaving the car on network is not a great thing okay so we're just going to go down here and we are going to face an issue very shortly i i suspect oh okay ooh, okay that was a bit risky from me uh we're just going to try and go down the rock face here spot on there. If you're in the rain, your cargo gets damaged. Whilst later on in the game you can find ways to repair it, early on it will really hit your score. So I'm going to try and sprint now and hopefully I'll be fine. The reason I was taking my time a bit there is because that section I actually bypassed, it was full of BTs. So I didn't particularly want to uh, run around them because they will they will sense me very quickly. So uh, we got away with it all right in the end, but if you can avoid BTs, try to do so. Okay, now we need to get across the river and there is a bit of red as you can see there, so we're going to have to use the ladders. Um, so let's just climb on this rock. We can go on this rock here and we're going to get a ladder. So here we go. Let's just bring it back a bit. We don't need to go... We don't need to hang in over. Let's just ping the ultra deck. We're actually in yellow here, so we don't need to worry about this, because once we're here, it's a waste of a ladder to use it. So we'll do that, and we'll just walk across from here. Just to add in, timefall is rain, but to my knowledge, someone who's played the game as well and knows better may want to contradict me. Uh, once timefall lands, it becomes water. So, whilst you're walking in water, it can damage cargo. It isn't timefall, so it's not... Uh, they aren't the same thing. Timefall was as it falls, but once it lands, it's water. Just in case anyone's looking at the salmon getting knee-deep in water and thinking, how isn't he aging? <laughs> okay, so we're nearly there. I feel like I've taken my time a bit more than I should have done here, but we're doing okay. It's just get another crypto buy up. If Sam's uh, injured, he will just straight out eat the crypto buy up, so you don't need to go into the menus and uh, eat them manually. Here we are. Way station west of Capital Not City. I, I do kind of wish they'd come up with more 
interesting names, but the feel of this game really fits it, if that uh, is any kind of explanation for it. Um, I, I don't know what they could have named them that would have made more sense. Feel free to put some suggestions in the comments, but uh, yeah, right now I am kind of on the side that they make the most logical sense for the world they're in, even if they are slightly tricky to remember. Okay, so this is the first big delivery. I think you might even get a trophy if you... Well, saying that, you get a trophy for the first delivery in uh, Central Knot City. So, uh, yeah, you don't you don't even get it for this one. This is order number four. I thought we were on three. Deliver the smart drugs. What, what makes them so smart? I, th I think it's maybe oxytocin. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Now I feel need to say that all these people that you see at these way stations depots, uh, the preppers, you don't see most of them in person, you see them via the carograms. The best way to actually learn more about them is reading mail. We might not get that right now, we might do, I can't remember exactly, but as soon as you get mail you can read it and find out more about them. So it's definitely worth reading the mail, I'm going to do it in this series just for that reason, but uh, yeah, if you're looking at them going, who are you, why should I be invested, read the mail. So yeah, we got S rank. Not too surprised at that. We did a. It wasn't the fastest of deliveries, but we did uh, keep the cargo pretty well intact. So I would have been disappointed there. So we'll just skip all that. We don't need to go faster, uh, slow through it. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all. And what? They just sent you out on your own. He's a one-man army. <laughs> One thing, porters come through from time to time, but the second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. And they sent us one guy. Shit, shit, shit. Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? You, you put us on this first delivery team. feels weird in that context, though. They waited three years to hook this guy up. I mean, it's like, you tell me someone couldn't have bought this Cupid that length I just walked? It wasn't the worst trip, let's say that. But, just let your leap of logic ignore it. It's um, definitely a case of overthinking at this point. Let's just say none of them are as good as Sam. Okay, so this will happen every time we go to a, a place that we're connecting to the Carol network. So we've got new stands established, we've got uh, more Carol network coverage. Uh, Way station west of Capital Knot City has joined the UCA. And we're now able to build a post box ourselves. We've also got the ability now to fabricate equipment at uh, these terminals. We can deliver lost cargo at them and we can access a share locker where we can donate weapons and equipment, or we can actually withdraw cargo. And we've also got access to other structures that other players have created. So, uh, some not a lot right now. We've just got a few ladders, a few uh, climbing anchors. So, not anything I'd particularly be using myself. Also, they look more shiny and blue once they're connected to the Carol network. Connection to capital, not city, confirmed. It's really happening. What, what, just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. 
Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Fort Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first, start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Okay, so this recording that I've been doing up to this point, it's been two and a half hours. So I'm actually just going to sit for a minute. When you sit, you save your game. And with that in mind, I'm going to stop my recording. Well, I don't know what part this will be. Um, I I'm planning to split these up into small sections where I mainly focus on one delivery, but I may do several. So hopefully this will be about part four, five, six, maybe I don't even know by this point. But um, yeah, there's a lot of story in this opening section. I, mean, I feel that we've burned through most of the heavy cutscenes. So yeah, um, Sam can just have a little rest for a moment just while I have a rest as well. So uh, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, I enjoy this game. I hope it's coming across when I've been able to play the game. Uh, but we're going to have a lot more gameplay moving forward. So hopefully you'll enjoy it for that reason. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.